Nicholas Dodge here. Today we will talk about a special duck bill, Corythosaurus. Its name means helmet lizard. It was named so because its crest was shaped like a Corinthian helmet. Corythosaurus lived in Canada during the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. Corythosaurus could grow up to 30 feet long and weigh about 4 tons. This was a standard size for many hadrosaurs. Corythosaurus was an herbivore. Its teeth and beak suggested that it preferred softer vegetation. Like Parasaurolophus, it's been theorized that Corythosaurus used its crest for display and communication. Nasal passageways were found in the skull. This suggests that Corythosaurus was a very vocal dinosaur. It probably used sound to alert others of food, to call for a mate, or even to warn when it detected a predator. Different crest sizes have also been found on Corythosaurus. Based on what we know of similar animals, we think this could represent sexual dimorphism, with males having bigger crests than females. For a time, we believe that Corythosaurus and other hadrosaurs were semi-aquatic, that they would spend much of their time in water. This was supported by the belief that they probably ate marshy plants, and also that scientists found what they thought were webbed feet. Newer evidence has debunked this theory. While they would have preferred softer plants, their crest was not suited for underwater breathing, and the apparent webbed feet turned out to be padding. In conclusion, hadrosaurs are now thought to be more terrestrial. Corythosaurus also helped solve one of the greatest dinosaur mysteries. For quite a while, the outer texture of dinosaurs was difficult to determine. It was usually believed to be scaly, like reptiles. In 1911, one of the first Corythosaurus specimens was discovered in Alberta, Canada, and it revealed something amazing. The specimen was partially covered in what looked like skin. The dinosaur had been mummified. Closer examinations revealed that Corythosaurus' skin had a pebbly texture. Based on this find, it seems logical that some non-feathered dinosaurs had similar skin. These dino mummies are rare, but they give us an even deeper look at what these animals were like. Next time on Prehistoric World, we will document the famous Iguanodon. This is Mr. Dodge, signing off.